playing catch in the yard, grilling outside, or enjoying a cold beer, June is a time when many families reflect on happy memories with dad. I was raised by a single dad, so I want to lift up my dad, Francisco Torres, who actually worked for the city for 40 years. Um, and, and that is the model that I stand on. He raised two Hispanic boys in the heart of the city. But not everyone has a dad or father figure in their lives. Gregory Blaze, Miguel Torres, and Abigail Forrester are three men committed to making a difference in the lives of young people of Boston. Much of my work supports bridging the absence of either a father or even a mom. There's a population in our country that has been left behind due to historical circumstances. They're not going to high school, they're not completing college, they're not entering the workforce. We sort of allow young people to lead the way, really allowing young people to be the leaders of how to address those issues. Someone who grew up without a father. In 2014, former President Barack Obama launched the My Brother's Keeper initiative. My Brother's Keeper, just in the title itself, kind of tries to supplement for that father role. Where parental guidance may fall short, My Brother's Keeper helps bridge that gap. Given the narrative of this country, a lot of African-American families don't have a father due to um, over-policing or over-imprisonment, um, over-sentencing of individuals. So a lot of homes are left with a single mother or a single father. Even though MBK is focused on young men of color, it's a trickle-over effect because both young men and young women benefit from developing young men in our community uh, because they are, in some ways, the leaders. The My Brother's Keeper Alliance works with organizations including Mass Mentoring Partnership to lift up young men and women of color. We want to build dreams and dismantle barriers. And how do we build dreams and dismantle barriers is one by supporting young folks, giving them voice, giving them choice, building brave and safe spaces for them to thrive. What we do is we assess the need and we develop and build mentoring programs throughout the Commonwealth. And so what we do is we work with programs that are ensuring that young folks have quality mentoring relationships. Programs such as the Center for Teen Empowerment. We talk about mentoring, but a big part of mentoring in my mind is also parenting, because a lot of young people just haven't been in a space where they receive the guidance that they need, right? Or the role modeling that they need to see. And so my whole life is really about one, being a model for young people. Forrester says he knows firsthand how young men can suffer in the absence of a father figure. From first to fifth grade, I was an A student, but in my teenage years, lost my way. I served from the age of 21 to 31, a 10 year mandatory minimum sentence as a first time offender. And so I understand clearly what it means when young people don't have uh, adults in their life to guide them. My work in doing this work with young people is really to give back to one, my community, and two, to give back to young people and hopefully be an asset to them. There are many young people without a father to honor this month, but these three men are working to ensure young Bostonians aren't lacking for father figures and for the guidance to become future leaders themselves. I'm a first generation American. Both my parents are from the Caribbean. So they always instilled in me uh, hope and a sense of try your best at everything and good results will come. However, being the first African-American in my family, I know that other folks that were born in this country who may you know, try their best at school, but just given the circumstances and the environments, can't really uplift themselves to where they want to be. Father's Day is observed on the third Sunday of June. In other words, this Sunday, June 20th, an early happy Father's Day to all the dads and father figures out there, including my own Harry Seymour. Happy Father's Day, Daddy. And that is Chronicle Ford tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. We'll see you back here tomorrow night for another edition of Chronicle. Good night, everyone.